the first hour of our hunt. That's a pretty typical morning, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. How many bulls do you think we saw? Oh, gosh, probably 15, probably, so far. This one on the hillside probably had about 10 of them. From spikes to six by six bulls. Yeah. What do you think of that? Morning. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good, intense. Good morning. <laughs> It's nothing like being out here in the fresh air and just listening to those big bulls bugling. Just yes. uh, reminds yes. you you're alive, doesn't it? It's crazy music. It's awesome. <laughs> like you said, you'll go to bed hearing it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's in there now. It's in there. It's, it's ricocheting around. <laughs> it's locked in. Well, we're going about to dive in deep here. James saw a pretty good bull. We, he just caught a glimpse going through the tree, so nothing better to do than get up on them and see what they're all about, huh? Yep. So it's thick in here, so this is when we, we get our close encounters of the muscularic kind right here. Put your bayonet on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, let's do it. I'm ready. I just want an elk with a big old frame on him, so that's what we're after. This one, we're gonna let walk. It's just, just getting started here. Evening number two, muscular. Let's go see what else we can find. To the Muscalera, another year of some fantastic elk hunting. We've got a special guest with us on this trip this year, Mr. James Hetfield from a very, very famous rock band. He's a good, fierce customer of ours and become a friend. And uh, we invited him on this elk hunt. He said, "You bet." So uh, we're pumped up, looking forward to it. sleeping on cots up in the high Rockies there with your jet boil and your mountain house. I mean, <laughs> bed's too soft, water's too <laughs> <That's> high, <deep. laughs> too much food. It's what makes bad hunters, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We're nice just meet you, meeting man. up with our guy, yeah, James too. Adams. Is, He's, uh, right here. we've hunted hey with him you? several it's times. Nice He's meeting you. Phenomenal, so hopefully James yeah, has got said, uh, a couple big James, bowls for us to go put the smack down on. So yeah. we're in Muscalera, the madness is about to begin. We're gonna get dinner, it's the orientation. They hand out tags, introduce everyone to their guides, and, and we're about to get started. So it's about to happen right here, man. This segment of The Fierce Life is brought to you by Limb Saver. Products that work. Well, the first time I met James Hetfield was actually on the phone. He'd called into Fierce Firearms one day to order a rifle. Um, he said he had found them online and, and liked how they looked. And so uh, we proceeded to take his order. I didn't realize uh, who he was at the time. We proceeded to uh, take his order and get him specced out on a CT Edge 270 WSM. And, and uh, built him the rifle. And then at that time it started clicking. Uh, I gave him an invite to come on what I feel is one of the best elk hunts in the world and that's here at the Muscalera. And he quickly said yes and, and we started making our plans for what I was hoping to be an epic hunt.
Well, definitely, being out in the outdoors is where I see my higher power. You know, I, I, I connect and I feel grounded, I feel right-sized, you know, feel you know, it, very different from being on the stage where there's a lot of, oh, there's this, and you know, uh, that is a, that's a, a, a whole nother hat that I wear. And when I'm out here, I get to wear a different hat and I get to, to chill out and be small. You know, harvesting an animal for me is, is about as good as it gets when it comes to feeding your family. Just like when you go out and you've, you've grown your garden and you're picking your fruit and hey, everything in that salad is something that we grew right here on our own. You know, my family, uh, we're, we're meat eaters. So I get to go out and harvest some of the best meat on the planet. And that is uh, out here in the wild and it's as organic as you can get. we first get out, it is beautiful. The stars are super bright and we're walking in and someone's truck alarm went off, which was pretty unbelievable. You know, who, who bumped somebody's truck? And uh, yeah, James, our guide, he had uh, hit the panic button or something on it and basically alerted everyone that it was, it was hunting time. <laughs> and that, uh, yeah, Papa Het and his buddies are here, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, walking in and, 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 and just following the noise, man, following the noise and, and seeing, uh, seeing some, um, some cows first on the side of the hill and then seeing, yeah, there was that pretty thick five by five that was, it, it was beautiful and I, cut to the shot. Hopefully you got it, because <laughs> uh, yeah, the silhouette of that thing right on the ridge top was beautiful. Yeah. Well, it's weird to be passing up something like that, but yeah, we've got a few days. Obviously, we're not done hunting yet, but that was the first hour of our hunt. It was a pretty typical morning. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Yeah. How many bulls do you think we saw? Oh, gosh, probably 15, probably, so far. This one hillside probably had about 10 of them, from spikes to 6 by 6 bulls. Yeah. What do you think of that? <laughs> yeah. Pretty good, intense. Good morning. <laughs> It's nothing like being out here in the fresh air and just listening to those big bulls bugling. Just uh, reminds you you're alive, doesn't it? It's crazy music. It is awesome. <laughs> like you said, you'll go to bed hearing it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's in there now. It's in there. It's, it's ricocheting around. <laughs> it's locked in. Well, we're going about to dive in deep here. James saw a pretty good bull. We, he just caught a glimpse going through the tree, so nothing better to do than get up on them and see what they're all about, huh? Yep. So it's thick in here, so this is when we, we get our close encounters. 
of the muscularic kind right here. Put your bayonet on. <laughs> yeah, <buddy. laughs> well, let's do it. All righty. Trail Cam Image of the Week, presented by Cuddyback. Congratulations to this week's Cuddyback Camera winner. Check out the Fierce Life Facebook page for the Trail Cam Image of the Week contest, sponsored by Cuddyback. More deer, fewer blanks. This segment of The Fierce Life is brought to you by Cryptech, Battlefield to Backcountry. Yeah. Well, when I moved to, uh, to Vail, uh, soon found a friend uh, who was a, he's a big hunter around there and uh, obviously started talking about hunting and, you know, uh, he, uh, he invited me out on a trip and we were out, uh, for about five days and I noticed how lightweight all his stuff was, his his backpack and especially his weapon and saw that he had, you know, carbon fibered wrapped. I'd never seen that before and, uh, you know, I had my heavy wood stock and he said, here, hold this. And it was, oh, wow, okay, very nice. Yeah, I love the gun, super light, uh, pack it in all over the place and uh uh you know takes a beating you know yeah. i'm used to beating up my gear you know on stage so uh something that's got to survive in, in the elements you know and uh and that's what it does You'll know the difference when you see one. <laughs> you know, like how that one, you kind of go, oh, it's kind of small. When you see a big one, you go, like, oh, God. You know, when you see those big ones, you say, it's big. That's when you kind of start, you know, that thing hanging off the side of you, that's when you go, where is it? <laughs> where is it? <laughs> that's when the bullets fall out and everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You gotta take the crap. Mm-hmm, big bull fever. That's what we're all about. All right. <clears throat> so the one that was in the trees is what we were hoping to yeah, look at, yeah. Sounded like there were at least two more. But yeah, the one sounded big. Yeah. Whatever that means. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because that one that came out with that cow right here, there's a little bull standing right there too. I don't know if you guys seen that one. I didn't see the little one. Mm -mm. No. We're jaded now, after yeah. an hour. We don't even see the little ones, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So after seeing uh, quite a few unbelievable bulls, um, thinking that, well, you know, got four more days to go and a whole afternoon and thinking it's kind of done. And we heard, heard Heard a couple more bugles, you know. Oh, we'll just circle around and head our way back to the truck. He's just got some good looking legs. He's got sexy legs.
He's done. I think he's done, but. No. Brother! <laughs> Woo! Congratulations, <laughs> man. I didn't expect it to happen like that. <gasps> Woo! Here's fire arms. Brother. Mr. James Hetfield, Muscalera. Beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. At the watering hole. At the watering hole. Did you hear? I told you it was about to get, you know, close encounters, man. Did you hear him? That's a big one. <laughs> That's a big one. I need to load up. <laughs> what I heard James say. Uh, should I? Should I? That's, That's, a, good That's a good bull. That's, That's a good bull. That's a hell of a bull for his first elk. And he came he's out. killed. He's killed some elk. Yes, yes but that's a freaking. Oh, but this be his first this is big bull. Bigger. First, first elk with us. First muscular elk. Boom. Not the last. Hey, hey, thanks for that. Uh, hey, it usually doesn't happen that quick. Just so you know, you're usually out here. They're hiking up mountains for four or five days, busting your butt, and you know, but they they just untied him. So it's good. You know, perfect timing. <laughs> just like, kidding. Or release him. Perfect. He's coming. Yes. Did you see that rope around his leg? <laughs> so we just had an incredible morning. We ran bulls all morning. We come up to this watering hole. Do you think it's that same one you got a glimpse of that you thought was big? James caught a glimpse of a good-sized bull through the trees. Couldn't tell what he was. As luck would have it, we come up here. It's really like finding a needle in a haystack as thick as this is. We were all on our knees, just kind of looking at bulls, and we—I could see this one up in the trees. James could see his legs; said he had a nice pair of legs on him. He's like, you keep going. He's, like, oh, he's wearing a skirt. <laughs> and I could, Scottish elk. I could see his front zone. I could tell they were good, but that's all we could see. And then when he walked right to us, and James said, oh, "He's a good bull," and I know when James says he's a good bull, when this James, our guide, says he's a good bull, it's it's game time. <laughs> Let's go see this thing. Let's see what we it. got. Yeah. Woo -hoo. Woo. Look at that bull! Holy cow, he is a giant! <laughs> wow! Oh. I had no idea he's that big. Thank you, God. Thank you. We are blessed for this moment. Thank you for giving your life. Thank you. Wow. Congratulations, man. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, yeah. brother. Thank you. Look at this bull. I, I, you know, it happened so fast. If you guys want to get back here behind these horns with me, James. Yeah. Uh, I mean, look at this guy. Look at him. The frame on this bull, this all happened so fast this morning. It was crazy. Um, we... We heard some bugles and out this bull came and I was messing around with the camera. I had no idea it was this big. James, what did you think when you first took saw him, Mr. Adams? First first instinct, man. I knew he was a good one. I turned around and you know told you he was a good one for Mr. Hetfield here and I told him to shoot it and he did a good job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he did. You can or, call me Papa Het. Papa, Papa Het. Het. <laughs> Papa Het, we got so many Jameses in campus getting. We do. But uh, what rifle are you shooting? Oh well. Fierce firearms. Oh, yeah. There you are, baby. There it is. 270 right Winchester short mag. Yeah. Uh, got the thumb hole. Uh, Kuyu camoed and uh, nice and lightweight. Super lightweight, man. That's what awesome gun. Have. Yeah, fantastic. Love it. Good for packing in. Good for carrying around and uh, nice and easy. 140 grain Barnes uh, did a number on this bull, but as as you can see, this is just a fantastic trophy for the Muscalera. Big frame, long beam. Good six by six by six. That's what we're looking for when we come here is a big mature bull like this and just did not expect it to happen so quick. And, no. and that's why we call it hunting. This is reality TV. Well, <laughs> James put us on at least what, 15 today. Yep. Even just, you know, and there were, there were some within, you know, 50 yards. And uh, yeah, come up on the watering hole and we saw one guy got scared off and we know why. <laughs> yeah. This guy was here. Exactly. Well, beautiful. Well, thanks for sharing your hunt with yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Thank it you so much. To be with you and, much appreciated. Uh, congratulations. Thank you, brother. Yep. So, we've got more great hunting. I've still got a trophy bull tag, so I don't know if I can beat this one, but uh, man, we're having a blast here on the Muscalera. More to come right here on the Fierce Life. Stay with us. Yeah. Thank you.
be jealous. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people are going to be jealous. Man. Thank you for watching this week's episode of The Fierce Life. Please join us again next week for more exciting action.